Welcome to Let the Quran Speak. What is the Islamophobia industry? It's conservative bloggers, right-wing talk show hosts, evangelical religious leaders, and politicians. All of them complicit in stoking fear and creating hysteria about Muslims. We begin a new series where we tackle their most common arguments. Dr. Shabir Ali joins me to introduce the series. Dr. Shabir Ali, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. It's my pleasure. Now, you know, we're starting a new series about which is responding to Islamophobic comments or anti-Muslim comments. And, and it, it, it's a, in fact, what we're finding is that it's, an, it's a whole industry. I don't know if you want to comment a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, why, why call it an industry? Um, and Nate, Nathan uh, Lean, in his book, uh, the, uh, Islamophobic the Islamophobic Industry, industry yeah. <laughs> yeah, had to justify this. Uh, so, uh, in his interview on on TVO with Steve Bacon, he um, explained why why this is called an industry. It's not like uh, the automotive industry, but 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 certainly uh, there is a connection uh, between uh, organizations uh, within the United States and uh, the world as well, uh, organizations which uh, have as their motive and priority, as they would see it, uh, the criticism of Islam. Uh, but uh, in, in their criticism of Islam, they are, uh, in, in a way, setting the stage for people to have a, an abhorrence for Muslims. Mm -hmm. in, in, to uh, see as Muslims a, as less than human, as perhaps. Less than human, yeah. yeah. And, and that will uh, translate eventually into discrimination and uh, perhaps even worse. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have to be concerned, as Muslims, we have to be concerned. This is a multi-million dollar industry. So there's a lot of money being passed back and forth um, um, to be able to promote this message. Mm -hmm. And um, my sense is that we're not trying to convince them because, you know, they already have their agenda. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to convince individuals who might be affected by that message. So they're hearing all sorts of things about Muslims. And it sounds, you know, it sounds accurate. Or there's, yes. there's a little kernel of truth that they kind of, they might, you know, push through and make it into a whole big story and people are able to, you know, latch onto it. Yeah, so like with any conspiracy theory, there is usually something there that seems a little bit amiss and mm -hmm. then you take that one thing, you blow it out of proportion um, and, and you make a, a conspiracy theory, you, yeah. you form a theory out of this. So uh, often what will happen is that uh, there is a terrorist attack and it's done by some who say that they're Muslims and we don't have any doubt that uh, they, 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 they thought themselves sincerely as Muslims. Um, uh, but, but then that is translated into uh, a whole big theory that uh, Muslims are here trying to take over the world. They want to impose their Sharia, and uh, they, they, you know, they're using trickery and treachery and deception mm -hmm. uh, in order to make their to infiltrate society, mm -hmm. um, and and in order to impose their will on the American people and and so on. So an, another writer, uh, Christopher Bale, B A I. Uh, wrote a book entitled Terrified, uh, how uh, anti-Muslim uh, um, fringe groups uh, rose to become mainstream. And uh, he has uh, documented the rise of uh, some 150 organizations in the United States of America that are well-funded and uh, they have a similar agenda. And, mm -hmm. and what happens is that uh, the, the writers feed off each other. So you'll, you'll read a piece of writing and it's filled with like footnotes and endnotes and uh, to other writings. Mm -hmm. and, and so you so get the sense. So they reference each other. Yeah, you yeah. get the sense that there's a whole, uh, like this is real scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. This is how a scholarly document should be written. This looks like a lot of good research. But it's like, uh, you know, if uh, like, one Muslim asking another, do you think Islam is great? And the other Muslim saying, yes, Islam is great. And they ask a third Muslim, and Islam is great. And they're all referencing each other, saying Islam is great. Well, that will be good for uh, uh, an intra-Muslim exercise. Mm -hmm. We Muslims think we are great, right? But uh, if, if you, uh, th the same thing can happen if you ask one Islamophobe, do you think Islam is bad? And he says yes. And you ask the other Islamophobe, do you think Islam is bad? And he says yes. And you reference all these people. It looks like you have a lot of good references here uh, to other writings, but in fact, you're just referring to other Islamophobes confirming your view that Islam is, is bad. So mm -hmm. that's not, that's not uh, academia, that, 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 that's not scholarly. Mm -hmm. It's not doing research, it's just asking your friends, asking people of like <laughs> mind, do they agree with you or not? 
and naturally they're going to agree with you. So we're going to answer some of those questions. You know, mm -hmm. are, can Muslims be loyal citizens, for example? Are Muslims deceptive? Mm -hmm. um, is Sharia the big boogeyman? You know, th those sorts of questions we'll be tackling in this series. Yes, uh, and, and of course there, there's much more that people may have doubts about. People may wonder about the rights of women in mm -hmm. Muslim societies. Whether, whether non-Muslims are second-class citizens, for example, in, in Muslim countries. Exactly. And uh, can Muslims be loyal uh, as citizens of Canada, the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Australia? Mm -hmm. uh, can uh, Muslims be contributors to society like any other uh, person? Are, Are Muslims, Muslims moral? Uh, exactly. Do they have more va moral values? Yes. So I look forward to discussing this with you, Dr. Shigarali. I think it's a very important weeks. series, uh, and I hope that our viewers will stay tuned uh, for what we have to say and also to give us their critical feedback and suggestions uh, on uh, where to take the series of discussion. Thank you.